Hey guys, it is Drift Hard Play Hard Games here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you a review on a fully upgraded Corvette Zero One. Um, as you've seen there, I just was doing some landmark stuff. Um, I had to do that just really quickly, just to get like 10 grand because I don't know, I didn't have enough for the upgraded like the upgrade thing and I don't know I don't really want to like waste my time on getting an upgrade because I don't know because I might be playing destiny later tonight but well there we there we go that's it 12.99 and now I'm just probably if there's no good official colors is that black Darker than normal black because sometimes they do that in some games I think I already know what I'm going to do for this car anyways just gonna see if they have any good rims for it mm, Nah, I'll stop with the HQ And guys, let's just go back to the HQ, and I'll, uh, you know, get this car looking nice, and, um, I'll, then I'll do a review on it. Damn, this thing whips out. Okay, let's see what we can do to make it look good. Because I do know some circuit cars, like just, oh, some of them don't look that good. Like, for instance, the Shelby GT500. Like, it's just why wide body a Shelby GT500. Like, really? You know? Like, it's an iconic muscle car. What's the point of even doing that? Okay, well... Oh, uh, so, um, I don't know, that blue looks really nice on this car, on this. Let's see if we got a sticker, any stickers that, like, actually look decent with this car. Mm. Uh, I want to make it look good, though. It's a Corvette, it's a circuit Corvette, so I have that vinyl on way too much of my cars. That probably will suit it the best. Let's just see. The skulls might look alright. Hmm. Hmm, actually that's decent. The wings are nice. Let's check that out. With like a... Like a... Hmm. Look good with it. Yellow. Okay, so we got that. Then we got that. That looks alright. And then we have this. Which I personally like the... Urban one so far. Samurai looks alright. And then we got Vintage. That looks stupid. That looks... All right. Um, now I'm just gonna make my my my, my mind up. Bang. Then we're just gonna decide on the color to make it look as good as it can be. So the gray looks nice with it. Cause we're not really trying to make it like we're trying to make it look mean, you know. That's nice, but you know you just have to go with a bit brighter so it's not too dark so you can actually see the vinyl at like night time those racing rims have got to go um we need to go black or white possibly white or probably gold so what gold looks like mm. let me just get my deep dish 
Black T 37s look all right because that's like what the rim is in real life. Volk T 37s. Racing wheels, they're fantastic. Ooh, those, those are nice. Those suit the car. Let's just see gold. Mm-mm. It's not gonna work. I don't see that. That looks nice. And then there's this. That. And then we're just gonna go for plates. And what the fudge? Um, I'll try to go for something dark, darker. Uh, I guess I'll have that because it's fully upgraded. And there we go. There's it. There's what it looks like. I would say, I don't know, I like JDM import cars, but I don't know. Say this looks nice. Looks very nice. Go to Laguna Seca Raceway, the Mazda, like the Mazda Raceway, and I'll see what it's like. I'm on sport difficulty, so the car might get a little drifty, as you can see. We'll go do that right now. So we'll start from like the back, and then we'll just speed through. I'm going to do uh, uh, one lap on sport. It's because I can probably guarantee I won't screw up. Most likely. So it's a bit weird. It's a really loose. And as you can see, it drifts a lot. So you need to put a lot of counter steer. A lot of counter steer. Oh my god. Yeah, this. Yeah, you need to put in a lot of counter steer. To get this car back to traction oh my god so I don't know I couldn't really complain this car yes it does it is slippy but you can control it in sport you can I haven't gone off-road yet let's see if I can do the corkscrew um, uh, nicely like apex okay so yeah this thing can definitely apex the corkscrew yes it does slip but, um, I don't know, I'd say it's a good car, though. Like, wow. Probably take this thing in the PvP. I like the way it looks. Sport difficulty drives all good. It's not like the Mini, where the freaking thing whips out everywhere. No, let's ta um, try it in um, uh, non-sport. By the way, I'm using manual, so... I can just like dump the clutch and drop gears and this thing will just whip out in sports difficulty. So I don't know, I would definitely say it's better in all driving uh, help because I don't know, it doesn't lose traction as much and you can apex the corners, go in, go out wide. You know, like apexing, it's where you take the corners the best way you can. And I screwed up that corner. But, uh, I don't know. I'd say it's good. You can drive at sport difficulty. Just all driving help, it's such a better car. Like, holy cow, this car is actually really good. With, um, like, see how good it takes the corkscrew? So many people have trouble with that corner. Like, this thing... I'm surprised. This thing handles as good as my McLaren. I think this is like my new favorite circuit car. I don't know. It is just a fantastic car. Um, now I'll just be showing you guys the stats and then, yeah, this is the car review, car customization. Oh, it's nice. So there's the stats for you. Um, it's definitely not really a high statting car. Get the accelerations 9,447, 9,867 speed. If you put in all speed upgrades, it'd probably hit about 10,000, probably guaranteed. Um, grip is 8,849. As you can see, this thing has plenty of grip, but in sport difficulty, it's a bit um, slippy. But when you use your brakes, it's it's all good. You just gotta be a good driver. 
and um, the weight is 2,332. And uh, yeah, I'll compare my um, my uh, mini, like my Mini Cooper. Like, look at the differences in that. Like, just look at that. The Mini Cooper like has more acceleration, more speed, more grip, and more braking. And it's a Mini Cooper, guys. That is one thing to prove that stats don't mean shit in this game. That, uh, cause this car is better. I'm telling you that right now. For a person that plays the crew a lot and, and like is good at the game, that this car's better. Guys, that is the um, review. Um, make sure you please like and subscribe. And um, peace out and have a very great day.